KUSI News. Well, for more than 65 years, the Paralyzed Veterans of America has been on a mission to change the lives of seriously injured heroes. Today, they're kicking off the week-long Paralyzed Veterans of America convention with a celebration at the USS Midway Museum. That's where KUSI's Brandy Williams is tonight. Brandy? First off, guys, Mr. Mathis, it is chilly down here. We're standing inside of a tent because it's so windy and breezy down here. So he needs to, it's chilly, Mathis. There you go. Good evening, everyone. It's a very special event that's happening here at the USS Midway. It's for the Paralyzed Veterans of America. These two guys are with the national chapter. They're going to fill us in a little bit more about the organization itself. This is Sherman. This is Al. Good evening. How are you? Thank you very much. Yeah, tell us a little bit about the organization. Well, this is Paralyzed Veterans of America. We've been around for almost 70 years and we advocate for veterans with spinal cord injury. We're the only veterans service organization that's able to go into the VA hospital and actually audit the quality care that our veterans are getting, mm -hmm. which is why it's so important that we get involved now because the VA is in such a transitional phase right now. They're trying to reorganize and they are coming to us as well as Congress to find out from our audits, you know, where the where the problems are and how do we fix them. Yeah, so how do we fix them? How much, how much time do we have? <laughs> we have a couple of minutes here. Well, I tell you, the, the biggest issue is this uh, Choice Act, where they're trying to direct veterans outside the VA system of care to get their care. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a temporary, maybe a Band-Aid, but that's not a permanent fix. We, have, we support veterans getting a choice, but we want that choice to be the VA. Yeah, and this is one of the many topics you're going to discuss here in the week-long convention that kicks off officially tomorrow. Tonight is a celebration, opening ceremony. Let's talk about that, because you all are here to have a good time, right? That's right. We like them to throw a big party to get everyone kind of loosened up. You know, there's a lot of tension going on, so uh, the Secretary of Veteran Affairs came out here to join us. Um, we just gave a tour of the VA hospital mm -hmm. up in uh, La Jolla, mm -hmm. showed him where Sherman and I did our rehabilitation a uh, long, long, long time ago. Yeah. And uh, he wants to celebrate with us as we kick off tomorrow. He'll be uh, presenting uh, us with about an hour-long speech about his agenda and how he's going to fix the VA. Well, if you're comfortable with it, do you mind sharing your story? I was a member of uh, SEAL Team 5 based in Coronado, and I had a parachuting accident uh, down by the international border. Mm -hmm. I was uh, uh, medevaced the Balboa Naval Hospital and then the, the VA nurses came over and said, you know, Balboa, you really don't know much about spinal cord injury, but the VA does. So they transported me to um, the VA and I did about five months of rehab there. Wow. And that was about 24 years ago. Well, we're lucky to have you here today. Thanks for chatting with us, Sherman. I'm coming over to you now. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? Good. Welcome. Uh, you're here from D.C., right? And you're probably laughing at me with my coat on. I'm a little chilly. I am. I am. <laughs> he is. So there you go, Mark. Someone on your side. Um, tell us a little bit why, a little bit more about why the Paralyzed Veterans of America is such an important organization and how the folks at home can help. Well, if you think about uh, who we speak for, it's Paralyzed Veterans, and we're the only veteran service organization that advocates for catastrophically disabled veterans. Mm -hmm. We've had to uh, invest a lot of resources towards understanding uh, the unique medical needs of veterans in that situation, and this, this can include polytrauma, uh, quadruple amputees, but because we've I, I say we, we've mastered that over the last 30 years. Um, now when we're talking about what we do at the VA, we've, we've got a, a voice in that, you know, and, and we're, uh, we're subject matter experts in a way that not too many organizations can claim to be. And, uh, and so it's our goal here to make sure that as we talk about changing VA that we help society understand that we have to have the VA well resourced mm -hmm. and we got to do what they do right. Uh, keep that going so that we don't lose what the VA does well. Yeah, and I love that you guys are with the national chapter and you know firsthand what it's like and how important this is. Do you, would you quickly like to share your story with us? Sure. I was serving as a United States Marine at Camp Pendleton. Shortly after 9-11, I was injured uh, while preparing to go to Afghanistan. Um, incurred a spinal cord injury. Was transported to the San Diego VA, and that's where I began the next phase of my life. And it, it culminates here uh, at these conventions where we talk about the best way to move forward. Wow, glad that you're here. Thank you, Thank you both for your services. Appreciate it. And you guys have fun tonight. And we'll, uh, you guys have to tune into the 10 p.m. news. We'll bring a little bit of the party to you. And there's actually going to be some parachute jumpers that are going to land on here at 7:25. So we'll have that for you as well. Back to you at the station. What a great yeah. event, Brandy. Yeah. Thanks you know, for sharing yeah. it with us.